Birmingham wants to secure its future as a first-class transportation hub. And the World Games in 2021 is the driving force to make it happen. It's a cooperative effort. This isn't about the city of Birmingham. This is about building a better Alabama, which means building a better region, which means building a better city. Everybody profits. As chairperson of the Transportation and Communication Committee, Councilor Kim Rafferty says it's time to start rebuilding the entire transportation infrastructure of the city, especially in anticipation of the World Games. She estimates the result would be a billion dollar infusion into the economy, including jobs and the possible growth of the automotive industry. We are, are appealing to those people who want to come in from other countries as well as other states to develop industries or manufacturing or other commercial or economic development opportunities. Counselors want visitors to the World Games to travel from one sports venue to the other without the need to drive. One of their major goals is to connect a 15-mile stretch from downtown to the Crossplex with a rail system. Council President Pro Tem Jay Roberson says he supports all public transportation, including the rail system, bus transit, taxis, and car services like Uber. I still refer back to Atlanta and the Olympics in 1996. Uh, the reason you saw the transportation system implemented there was due to the Olympics, and that's how MARTA became MARTA. So here in Birmingham in the next uh, six years, we have to focus on ways to bring in uh, major dollars. I think that's why you see our mayor and our council making trips to meet the Department of Transportation to talk about the needs and to see what other federal support we can get here in our city. Uh, so in 2021, when uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people converge on this city, we can be prepared to move people around, uh, be customer service-like, and provide first-class transportation here in our city. The Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority, or MARTA, is now the eighth largest rapid transit system in the U.S. and has spurred economic development in neighborhood after neighborhood. Uh, when I went to Tokyo, Japan, uh, when you ride a bullet train and to see uh, not only the speed of that train, but to see the stops and what's happening at those different stops. Uh, in, in metropolitan to Tokyo was tremendous. Uh, you have stores, you have retail, you have shops. Uh, that's what we need to see happen here. The Transportation Committee is suggesting optimizing Birmingham's bus services by doing away with the current hub and spoke system, replacing it with a more efficient grid. Councilor Rafferty also wants to build an inland port facility and a commuter rail system between Birmingham and Mobile. Uh, it will basically unzip the state of Alabama and it will open up being able to move people from the top most northern point Huntsville all the way down to Mobile. That means that people can move, people can do business, and, and we can actually, instead of clogging our interstates and polluting our airways, we can find more conducive ways to travel. Um, uh, aside from the rail, we also have the aviation portion, and the way that we're trying to develop that is being intentional in our growth with the Birmingham International Airport and the surrounding airports. Construction is currently underway on this new downtown intermodal transportation terminal. The $30 million facility will be the hub for Amtrak, Greyhound, and the Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority. Councilor Rafferty says since the state doesn't provide funding for transportation options, the city must come up with ways to generate money to pay for these improvements. She suggests as tourism grows, so should revenue by increasing licensing fees, lodging and rental tax, as well as entertainment and ticket tax. I think if we build it, people will come, uh, they will enjoy it. Uh, we already see enhancements now with our bus system. The intermodal facility is being built now. The downtown Birmingham is truly tremendous. So uh, it's time now that Birmingham really focuses on transportation. Counselors agree transportation should be a necessity, not an amenity. And they're determined the public has the essentials to move around seamlessly. For all the latest news and information, connect with our community or visit our website and subscribe to news updates.